Hi, James Wedmore here, and in today's video, we're gonna talk to you about the basics of transitions in your editing. All right, so if you're just joining us and you haven't seen any of my other videos, I highly recommend that you click one of the links on your screen to start our full-blown video tutorial series on how to edit, the basics of editing for non-editing. You can click the annotations on your screen and watch those videos first before you get to this one. But this is going to be a super simple tutorial for you on just how to do a transition. This is, this is very, very simple. Uh, and we're in here, my, my editing software, as you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I recommend ScreenFlow. It's for Mac, it's 99 bucks, it's super simple. And all the time, whenever I edit, I edit on, on ScreenFlow because it, is, it, it, it saves me a lot of time. So today we'll talk about transitions. And we'll use this video with this goofy little smile of mine uh, to show you how to do a transition. Now, what I did is actually, when I filmed this video, my camera actually ran out of space or something and, and my shot died and uh, I had to restart the camera, um, which was unfortunate for me, but I can use a transition to do that. Now, here's how you find your transitions inside of ScreenFlow. Uh, we select our clip and we're gonna right click, add a starting or ending transition. So if we want it at the end of this clip, we'd add an ending transition. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now it's gonna give us a default tran uh, transition, which we can't see until we like crazy zoom in, but here it is right here. You can see it's got this AB overlay. So what you can do is I can click this little gear wheel and it will say, show the transition inspector. And it'll show a myriad of different ones, the copy machine, the bar swipe, blah, 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 all the way through to the spins, the ripples. Uh, which should we use? Uh, well, basically the intention of this video is to, to steer you away from using transitions as much as possible, ironically. And um, there's only a few I use and only every once in a while. Most of the times I just do a direct cut. So uh, you can see I can actually uh, remove this by right clicking and remove it. And then I can bring this shot together. So I'm actually gonna show you how I was able to take two shots and kind of make it look like one. Basically here I was talking and in the second clip is more of me talking and I just put them together like that with no transition. But what I did do was I zoomed in the video. Let's take a look at it really quick. Weekends. All right, let me give you one. So what I did is I uh, brought in, zoomed in, and you can do that from the video properties. Uh, we can zoom in as much as we want. Um, on this second clip. So here we are on the first clip and it's zoomed out. Here we are on the second one. So that when you play it, it looks like it's a continuous shot. It's just been zoomed in and it doesn't look disjointed or choppy or not too choppy, I guess. But uh, that's one trick for you. But I didn't do a fade. I didn't do a dissolve. I didn't do anything like that. Now, what I, where I do like to use transitions are at the beginning and the end of my let me get to the end of my videos. So what I'll do is I'll go to the end of the video and I'll right click, add an ending transition, and it'll show this right here. And I can make the clip longer, I can make the transition longer, shorter, whatever I want, and then I can choose which transition I'd like. I like the cross dissolve. It's just a simple fade to black, and you can see it in action here. It's my call to action. Take care. Okay, and it just said take care. And take care. Then faded to black. Real simple, right? This is this is pretty simple stuff. So I really only use this cross dissolve when I want to do a transition and it's usually at the beginning of a video or at the end. Now let me give you a quick disclaimer. What I'm teaching you here is not if you want to be making a movie, okay? There's a lot else that would go into transitions, edits, and cuts. This is for basic, I'm talking in front of the camera, making a video for YouTube or a sales video or something like that, okay? Because the rules can definitely be very different for anyone else in a different industry. But another time I would use uh, a, a cross dissolve might be when I want to, uh, a lot of times when it's used is a, is a, a lapse in time uh, or we want to show that something has happened, you know, we're fading to something else. Uh, and I'm going to show you how we can kind of do that. It's going to be a poorly done example with this video, but you'll get the idea. So here's our two clips. we got the left one and we got the right one, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to separate them a little bit. And I'm going to right clip 
right click add an ending transition and it's going to be a dissolve and what I want to do is play with it so that the dissolve really happens like right as I kind of finish talking on the weekends okay the weekends. And right now it's fading to black so then we have our other clip and I'm gonna go right click add starting transition and we'll play with this one a little bit and we're gonna have it go right about here. And you can kind of just see by what I'm doing, just kind of this whole area where it says AB, <clears throat> excuse me, is the transition. Now, if we just put them right next to each other, here's it's, it's gonna look like it's a fade to black and then come back. So watch what happens. Um, on the weekends. All right. You see that? You see how it went to black for a split second? See how it's at black and then came back up? Well, that's, that might, that's a cool effect and you can do that. But here's another way to do that so it's a seamless transition. It's not gonna look good on this on this clip, but it'll show you how you can be transitioning from a maybe a scenic view to like you inside your home talking or something like that. Um, I would drop this clip down on the timeline and overlap it underneath it. And I kinda wanna see how this looks if I line these two lines up and we'll see the difference. On the weekends. All right, let me give you one more example on the weekends. All right, on the weekends. All right. Now you see that, and we'll do it in slow motion for you. One is fading out. Clip one is fading out, while clip two is appearing. Now it's nice because it's a little bit easier on the eye, but I really don't recommend it if you're just doing this talking head video. It's more for, you know, maybe you just have a change in scenery or, or something like that. Um, so there you go. Those are the basics of transitions. The moral of the story here is try to avoid them as much as possible. Don't really do the, especially when, we're, you know, we're doing professional business branding videos. Don't be doing the whole spinning leaves and, and goofy stuff like that. Uh, that's for people that want to make a home movie using, using iMovie or something like that. And we want to be a little bit more professional. So thank you so much for hanging out with me on this video tutorial. I highly recommend you check out the rest of our tutorials on the basics of video editing so that you can get real familiar with how to be editing videos so it doesn't have to take you a lot of time. It does take you a lot of time if you want to spend hours trying to figure out the perfect transition. Now you know you don't have to. Uh, and here's the link right here on your page to uh, check out our main tutorial, video editing for non-editors. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, author, coach, or coach speaker, local, local business owner, and you know you need to be doing video, but you just can't get your head around this whole editing thing or making videos things. This is, these are kind of the principles that we, that we lay out for you. So even if you have someone else make the video for you, you can tell them exactly what to do. You can communicate your message to them more clearly. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and click one of those links. So you can see the next one in the series. Talk to you soon. Four years at a really expensive film school and over 600 videos on YouTube on over half a dozen channels later, I've discovered that the real secret to seeing an actual ROI on all your video marketing efforts